Hello and welcome everyone on YouTube, Right to Stick, and we back again for another video. Today we're gonna show you how you can bypass the Gmail account on your LG K30. So this is a Metro by T-Mobile variant and the same way should also work for T-Mobile user as well. So this happens to you when you factory set the phone, you locked with the Gmail and you don't remember the Gmail and the phone force you to log in or to sign with the previous Gmail account, which is you forget. So without any further ado, let's find out how you can do it. Now here is the screen you're gonna get and you're gonna try many times to log into your Gmail account and you won't be able to. So first of all, I wanna ask you to connect to Wi-Fi because we need to use the internet in this point. So make sure you connect to Wi-Fi. In my case, I have my phone already connected to Wi-Fi. And then trying to go back to the main screen, as you guys can see. The first thing you will see here, it will be accessibility. So go ahead hit on accessibility that will take you to settings and from the settings go to vision and from vision you should go to talk back so go ahead and enable the talk back talk back it's made and designed for disabled people have some people have issues with the vision so go ahead turn on the talk back now the talk back is enabled on the phone so you need to do a gesture on the screen so what we're gonna be doing it will be L letter but we're gonna start from the top to the down like this if it doesn't work just do it again here you go so as you guys can see we have the talk back settings over here you have to select and then double tap Now I would recommend right now to shut down the talkback because it will be very hard for you to deal with the phone. So how you can do this, we need to go to the volume up and down and hit at the same time. And that will tell you suspend, say just okay. Select and then double tap. And the talkback is suspended in your phone. Now after suspending the talkback, we're gonna use the phone much easier. Now what we need, we need to scroll down till we get the help and feedback. So just go ahead and hit help and feedback. And the first option, get started with the voice access. Just go ahead and hit on this one. And that should take us to YouTube. So go ahead and play YouTube. And then go to this icon over here, looks like a, a clock. And that should open YouTube. It's gonna open YouTube through Chrome, so go ahead, but just hit no thanks. Means now we have access to the internet through the Chrome. Now what you need, go to the top where you can put the address and type whatever I'm gonna be typing, V-R-V-N-R-O-M, and then space, bypass. I will put that on the screen as well so that you guys can see it much better. And that should take you to the website. The first website we need, it will be the first one, as you guys see, vnrom.net. So go ahead and click on this one. There you go. So you are on the link we want. Now you need to download two applications from here. The first one we need, frpvnrom.apk. Go ahead. Okay, continue and then allow we need both you might see something for translating go ahead and just cancel this one and hit ok and don't open we need the quick short cut maker there you go Let's do the same thing so we have two necessary applications open or downloaded on the phone now just go to the three top, three dot in the top I mean, and go to download. And you will see the applications we downloaded on the phone. So go ahead and click on quick share. And then it will tell you settings. And nothing gonna happen. Now the phone will go back to actually settings Wi-Fi. So nothing else over here. So what you need, you need to turn on the talk back again. So go ahead and do that by volume. There you go. Now try and do gestures. There you go. So it will take us 
to this screen. Now, if the phone doesn't take you to the screen, you might need to restart your phone and you should do the L letter uh, once again because you need to get this screen to pop in your phone. Now, now hit on text to speak settings and see if you can get the settings from here. Now, if it doesn't show, go ahead and restart your phone. And we will come back to you after the restart. Now we just got the talk back, so go ahead and do L letter and go to text speech settings now. And try to switch the talk back off one more time. And see if you can get to the notification bar on the top, which is actually you did. And now you just have to go to the settings. Now from the settings you need to go to general and you need to go to fingerprint and security and you need to go to phone administration and then you will see find my device. This has to be deactivated. So go ahead and deactivate. It didn't activate this time. Try again. Deactivate. Now, once it's deactivated, you just go ahead and go back. And then you need to enable the unknown source. So go ahead and say allow. So the unknown source is allowed in the phone. So go ahead and go back. So now we need to go to apps. So I'm going to just go ahead and find the apps. It's going to be over here. And then just go ahead to all apps and make sure it's selected all apps. And you need to disable two applications that's from the phone so the first one it will be the Google Play service so go ahead and disable now how you know it's disabled when you see enable here and you need to go to the Google account manager so let's go ahead and try to find the Google account manager and also we need to disable the Google account manager I can see all the apps show system app I should have done this before and then search to Google account manager there we go so this is the Google account manager go ahead and disable Google account manager once you see it's enabled means is disabled now now the next step you need to go back to the settings and then we need to look to storage And you have to go to the last option over here, which is Explore. And we need to download or to install the application we just downloaded. So go ahead, you find them on download. As you guys can see, we have the FRBV in Rome and the Quick Share or Shortcut application. Now go ahead and download the FRB ROM. Just hit next. It might take a while. There you go, just hit done, don't open, and go to Quick Shortcut Maker and download the other application. And that one you can just open it. And then go to Application, and you need to find the Google Play over here okay we need to google play store here we go so as you guys can see this is the google play store now go ahead and hit try and that should tell you to log into the gmail account so what you have to do you need to log into the gmail account other gmail account any gmail account you know so I'm going to go ahead and just log into my other Gmail account. I know the password. And just go ahead and hit next. I just want to put the password. And you're going to be over here. Just say yes. 
say yes again. And you get this message over here. So if you get this message, that's good. Look, your email, it's already on the phone. So go ahead and go back now. You need to go back to the shortcut maker over here. Right. And just to stay on the same application and you need to find the settings. So go ahead and search settings and open the settings on the phone. So you are on the settings now. So what you need to do, you, you also you need to go to apps and you have to enable the application that we just, so go ahead and go to disable there you go, so enable this and go show and then the account manager just enable this one so we enable the Google uh, account manager and Google Play service now go ahead and restart your phone so I'm gonna go ahead and do the restart We'll let the phone restart and we'll come back to you. Now just uh, restart the phone. Just go ahead and exit from this one. And it should start now fine. So go ahead. and If you have the talk back, just tap one and double tap. It might take a little bit. It might take one to two minutes. I'm not quite sure. I'm trying not to skip that for you guys. I just want you to see everything step by step. Now it will tell you the email you just answered. It's already added on the phone. So go ahead. And let me just suspend the talk back because it's very annoying. And then just hit next. Might take another minute or so. Now just log in normal, I'm not going to set up fingerprint, I did not finish yet by the way, there's only one step you need to do and you will be completely free out of the Gmail. I'm just going to do some checking over here, I'm going to skip Google as well. There you go, there you go again. You're most likely you're gonna be logged into the phone just fine, but you guys see some glitches here it's not right at the top. Just don't worry about it. So uh, let's go back to the settings now. Trying to go to general and then go about phone and then go to software. And you see the build number, just click four times. You see now the develop mode is approved, just go back back to the settings and now you will be able to see developer option and then you just need to enable OEM unlock so go ahead and do it and hit enable now just go back and back up and reset hit ok and you will do 
data factory reset or factory reset so go ahead and reset the phone delete all reset the phone is going to do a factory reset and once the finish the factory reset we will come back to you again now we back again after the factory reset now start sign up let me see if I don't log into Wi-Fi there you go so as you guys can see there is no Gmail on the account or whatsoever so congratulations you have bypassed the Gmail account on your phone and now you can just be fresh and start a new Gmail account make sure you know the Gmail account and the password before you get with the same problem there you go that's it for this video thank you so much everyone for watching please subscribe for more videos on variety stick hit the bell to be notified for any future video and give this video a like if you find it helpful and i will see you in the next video